Hi guys, how's it going? Simon here again. Today I'm going to talk to you about my setup for dry fly fishing. Um, it's exactly the same as dry fly fishing for brown trout. Um, I use a five weight rod, it's really good. I find that casting with a five weight rod is, is more fun. We want, you want more action on a five weight, five weight rod. But um, yeah, a friend of mine had asked me what my setup was, so that's why I wanted to do this video. So for my main line, uh, when I'm dry fly fishing for sea trout, it would be a fully floating line, weight forward. And then I'd have a, about a 12 foot tapered leader down to 5x. And on that then I'd use a, a fluorocarbon tippet, about four or five pound in weight, maybe six pound. Uh, the type of flies I use, well I've caught sea trout on um, sedges, on emergers, on um, upwinged olives. So pretty much anything that's hatching on the river the trout are taking, the sea trout are going to take as well. So, um, yeah, that's it really. I mean, like, um, it's not a complicated setup. Um, it's your typical dry fly fishing. Um, so you basically have to locate the sea trout and then take it from there and put the, put a dry fly above them and see how that goes. You know, it's funny, I met an old guy in the river one day and I was telling him about night fishing for sea trout and a dry fly. And he was laughing, he thought I was crazy. But um, it's actually a really effective way of getting sea trout. Um, now, the difference is, fishing the dry fly at night time compared to daytime. In the daytime, you're watching your dry fly up on the top at all times. As soon as you get the hit, you're striking. But at night time, it's totally different. You're basically casting out a dry fly that you can't see and you're doing efforting by listening and by feel of touch. So um, it's really different, you know, it's uh, it's hard to explain really, but it's pretty effective and I've had a lot of sea trout that way as well. Um, the only thing is you don't know whether the, the fly is sinking or floating. So... It's always good to give it a good few false casts to get it dried out and put on a lot of floatant as well, just to ensure that it is floating. Um, but the hits are just really vigorous, they're aggressive, the sea trout will smash the top and it's really exciting uh, fishing. So, yep, the next time we're on the river just try um, a dry fly at night time in pitch blackness and see how it goes. I think, I think you'll probably find it's very addictive. In my opinion, the best time to go sea trout fishing on a dry fly is during the evening rise. That's definitely, for me, I've caught all my sea trout at that time. Um, I haven't caught many sea trout in the daytime on dry fly. Uh, it's usually been in the evening and twilight, just as it's getting dark, and into darkness as well. Well, I found from my own personal experience that sea trout like trees and bushes and anywhere where there's kind of security and cover from threats. So um, when I'm casting out a dry fly, I will usually target just behind bushes and behind trees. Uh, that's where I usually nail the sea trout. It's never usually in open water out in the middle of the channel. It's usually in nice little corners kind of with lots of cover. So, uh, yeah, there are definitely places I'd be watching out for for sea trout on a dry fly. So what happens when sea trout stop taking a dry fly in the darkness? Well, it's basically a change of tactic at that stage. You're going to be going down to wet flies and lures. So uh, it, it will come a point, probably earlier on in the night, where the sea trout will stop taking the dry flies. So sometimes I'll um, change my line down to an intermediate sink line if I'm fishing a deep pool. If I feel that my fly isn't getting down deep enough when I'm fishing wets, um, the intermediate line is really helpful to get the fly down. Other times I just I won't use any intermediate at all. I just use my floating line, but then I'll have my um, I just have my fluorocarbon on the end of it, um, probably eight to ten pound fluorocarbon. And I'll be fishing my, my wet flies then directly downstream and retrieving it back up. Uh, just your, your traditional night sea trout fishing. So folks, uh, I'm going to end this video now. I hope you found some parts of it interesting. Um, 
it's basically my take on dry fly fishing for sea trout at night time and evening time um, with my fly set up and line and flies and everything else so um, do give my video a like uh, it does help the channel uh, until next time take care and also if you have any questions or comments please do leave them down in the comment section I love to hear uh, your thoughts and anything uh, any questions you might have so um, till next time take care tight lines